Let me just tell you something. Whether you're dating, whether you're married, or whether you're not married, or you're going to get married, you got a girlfriend, let me tell you the best advice I can give you. I played football, and her mom was a cheerleader in high school. And I knew the minute I saw her that I just absolutely fell in love with her. But here's the kicker. You got to be friends. Got to be best friends. Ah. Uh... You do. You got to be best friends. That's, that's the key. I truly believe that. I tell everybody that. You got to be friends. Sons of bitches. Dad, my stream wants you to say open up the sky. Open up the sky, baby. It's red so tonight. Awesome. <laughs> 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 Brimstone. I gotta pick my guy right away, can't I? Whoop. Yeah, quick, get the. Oh, oh my god, that was so fast. <laughs> it's brimstone. You loaded it before me. You're an insta lock brimstone. <laughs> brimmy, 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 brimstone. Hello, Hello Papa, Papa B here. Hello, everyone. Wow, they don't want to talk to you. <laughs> All right, don't be bugging me. Leave me to myself. Sister. Somebody shooting already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Woo. Let's do some of the plant. Woo. <laughs> Yay. You need to pay attention. I didn't do that. That's what your person said. Hey, Dad, there's someone there. Where are you looking? Okay. Wait for him to walk. They can see you. Where, <laughs> Where were you he looking? He shot me from underneath. Where were you looking? He shot me from underneath. He shot me. I was standing on the plank. And I, what happened to my sniper guy? Yeah, he, he can't afford it. Well, if you would, like I said before, if you would have went to college, that'd have been all right. Here's the beauty thing: you can't get any worse than Big Papa B. What? What'd she say? She's gonna. gonna have a right she's here. gonna put a smoke there. What she said? I was gonna have a cigarette right here. I'm thinking, well, you ought not be smoking. Tell you the truth. Say, say thank you to Moist Box. They gifted me subs. Moist socks? Moist box. Moist. Well, that, well, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> Moist box. I love that name. Moist box. You can hang out at my house anytime you want, buddy. <laughs> what? Moisty, my man. What does that mean? It's like been 10 times I should have gotten somebody and I didn't. You have an assist. That means you helped get a kill. Yeah, I, I've assisted a lot of people off a wheelchair, but it didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> okay. It's a pretty short skirt there, sissy. What's. I'm wearing leggings. Well, let's still get some proper clothes on, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> you Listen, just... That was flawless on that one. People, did you see that? Flawless. <laughs> Big Daddy was flawless, flawless on that one. <laughs> okay, the other right to the left. Oh, you got it! Yeah. Yeah. You gotta uh, kill! Okay, turn around. <laughs> They're not up there. Nine, it's They're just not, me just and nine people Taylor. left. Here, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> it's just, see, nobody wants to hear the sock story. They want to hear the sock story. Who does? They do. Me and Jordy's mom. We go to a thing that was called Midnight Movie Madness. It was at the mall, and there was a place called the Orange Julius, and they made fruit smoothies. And I had this orange Julius. And rather than just getting a medium or a small, of course, I had to get the Big Daddy size. So we go to this movie. We have the Big Daddy orange Julius. We have popcorn and cheese and chips and all the things that you usually get, probably Whoppers, at the movies. And we go watch this movie. And I could feel about the last half hour of this movie, my stomach felt like a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. <laughs> it was popping and snapping and pop, pop, pop. So this is midnight now. So by the time the movie got over, you know, it was like two o'clock in the morning. And we were just teenagers, we were young. Anyhow, we go to walk out and I thought, man, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of pressure here. And I think, oh man, I'm, uh, I, I've, I've got to go to the bathroom. I tried to get back in the mall and this little short chubby security guard would not let me in. Long story short, I grabbed her mother by the hand and ran as fast as I could. And I don't think her mom was, I don't think her feet was even touching the ground as I was running to my pickup truck. I'm now thinking, oh my God, it's coming out. It's getting ready. I'm getting ready to explode like a balloon. I went to go get in the truck and I'm thinking, I'm sorry, but I've got to give birth right now. That's just not, get hold of it. So her mother, <laughs> that was sitting in the truck. She said, what are you doing? I said, please, please forgive me, but just give me a second. I opened the door because I don't want to get arrested and I squatted right next to the truck and I leave myself. And she said, what 
on, guys. What the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry. Because you got to understand, I was dating this girl, and I loved her. And here I am in a parking lot. And she said, oh, my God, what, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm sorry, but I really had to go. I realized that there was nothing to clean, clean myself up with. So I said, excuse me, but I... I can you put your phone over here? I need your socks. She said, what? I said, please, please give me your socks because I have nothing to clean my butt with. So all I can tell you guys is I wiped my butt with her socks. As I backed up, all I could see was a big pile of poo with two black socks in it. And her mother looked at me the whole way home like, what am I doing in this truck? The beautiful thing is she still married me and she loves me till today. Wee! Hey! Hey, cut the crap, sister. <laughs>